change is a very serious threat to the Gambia's food security. Almost 70% of the Gambian population depend on agriculture and the type of agriculture we employ here or implement is rain-fed agriculture. Previously, this was sustainable because we had five to six months of rainfall, so there was enough growing time and maturation period, but now we only have three months to two months and this has affected farmers. In, I think, 2011, the government declared 71 or so percent crop failure. Um, and also, this has, we've not had very good yields recently as well. We don't have irrigation systems, so the smallholder farmers also, depending entirely on, on rainfall, which the cycle has reduced, this affects the type of crops they can now grow. Sangitan <laughs> Dole <laughs> Sanse sen loho nunge na lige. Bunyu jangale belegi na santanisi yala thorop paski nungi gel tol yunga don bay bunjak danga don bay Allah. Yanjis am ambi tut legi na jis na ne tol bunda urak manga se bayinga amsi lo hamne ni lulai jirin la yau aksa wajuri bena tol manga se bay bay tefiu bari lo lo hamun kon. Sai seno tole bala. Je suis très heureux de vous parler de la rôle 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 de la de la rôle de la rôle de la de la rôle de la rôle de la rôle de la rôle de la de la rôle de la rôle de la 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 de de la de la de la de la de la nsa do mono fokar luru fokar wor bar say mbete momento al hawa falinta nyasi o bie nyama al hawa falinta senela al mbete momento njahal tal wala yatin nan te man seno ke nyina nyina ngi me tambila ak son yet nata inata di ma koy ro samba nan o panyo mi jam ye porje ko samba nan jam me alon ko kam sol sembentu ya al hawala falin ko no be be juma no la nyaadile hanni ma banno bari be juma no la fe nyaadile inata ni sodi musolla anin si selu bar ala nata ken te benta si sele fe ha benta si sele fe inata na training biri ka wona ke inata na si seke me samana pro mol men be karanka sa o si seke mo nyi biri ya samana sa be juma ka wala mba wafila mba do san ni nga wafi nga do san nanim sanginan nga sama do ko fembe ka soto ye ni nga toturo ke nga bang mano biesilo mano nyante barakala jela tembo menna al hawala manturo kamala ye be kata yiru kunto le mane soto tala kar kin ngo mano mi basu re bafro sama do mano nyante nga do mo fo karo fat wata soto lan tol laja nga do ji man soto dal hayon tul bu la temale man kana nom fanan nata mi rol ke ni yirtu to men ka ci baro moy banko bantala bankol kan ka ci baro moy ni dandana mola mo dum fana hala mam fana dun namo bulu men sey yirtu to porje ko fintindin kanna bir nga ñen ci baro moy dorong hane man konto mo nda ko nga ñum borta mbula te no mana wo kamal wo damal ente bulandi ñen porje ko no mba tutu la nume nga kolya bi tak jang ko ali nga wakil to bab kara ni men ñe manan ko no ni nat nga wutule nga fudi natan ka layno lay nga layno ko ni nga layne menta do ni layne donta do ni layne donta aliyata nal ya futandi ale layne do tanan to kum fana 
mankona fa asi al asi al hawa sansan na le nyinke baraka fende ni sama nata ya ba gala sama ta charla abi sakila nyewul fana ni ba fata nyewul weita nyewul te borno le yeta ibe sakila fende la one of the things that the gambia has also done is to to have a national climate change policy this was developed in 2015 with support from the european union in their global climate change alliance project and the policy um is looking to integrate climate change into the national development as well as mainstreaming it in all facets of society the government is creating a conducive environment for work for stakeholders to work together to try and adapt to climate change because in the end the gambia contribution to to the global emissions is very low therefore our priority has to be on adapting to climate change rather than mitigating it since even if we mitigate all our carbon sources here it will not make a big difference in the global scheme mm -hmm.